What if your dev team wasn't human? No meetings, no burnout, no arguing over whether dark mode is objectively better than light mode. It's not. A team of AI agents working around the clock to build software just for you. What could possibly go wrong? AI is already pretty amazing at helping with coding. Tools like Cursor, GitHub Copilot, and ChatGPT can write functions, fix bugs, or suggest better ways to write code. And sometimes it feels like magic. Here I'm asking Cursor to make a clone of Snake in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I've sped up the footage, and it did take a second prompt of, that's just a game over screen, I can't play the game. But this completely blows my mind. It tries again, and it pretty much nails the brief. We have a working snake game, and it only took two prompts. So, we're done, right? Not exactly. Let's up the complexity. For example, we could ask to make it 3D. That's not right. A few more prompts, some bug fixing, dealing with a cause issue. And we pretty much get what we asked for. Is it impressive? Absolutely. But is it any good? Not really. The game certainly isn't particularly high quality. We could keep going back and forth, asking for improvements. I even had another go with a detailed specification, and whilst it did result in an arguably better code base, it still required many additional prompts and really didn't end up much better. I'm not going to go through the code, but I'll link out to a Git repository with everything in it if anyone wants to take a look or have a go. Honestly, it's pretty broken. But this all leads to the question, if AI is so good at coding, why is it so bad at software development? And can we make it do better? Well, here's the thing. Software development isn't just writing code. It's not one big job, it's actually a bunch of smaller jobs. All working together to build something that works, solves a problem, and makes sense to the people using it. And that's why most software teams don't look like one person writing all the code in a basement. They're teams of specialists. Each person has a different job, different responsibilities, and they all rely on each other to make things happen. So, how do teams build software? You've got the product owner, the one who decides what the team should build in the first place. The project manager, who makes sure the team's not accidentally building three different versions of the same thing, and generally keeps things on track. Developers, to write the code. Testers, to make sure it works. Designers, to make it look and feel good and DevOps to get it out to the world so people can actually use it. They all focus on their own jobs, but they talk to each other, they coordinate. If a tester finds a bug, they'll tell the developer. If a feature is confusing, the designer reworks it. It's a lot of people doing small, specialized things that add up to one working product. And maybe that's the key. Software teams work because no one's trying to do everything all by themselves. But when we give a single AI a complex task like, build me a 3D snake game, we're asking it to do everything by itself. No wonder it struggles. So if we want AI to be better at software development, maybe we shouldn't ask it to do everything all at once. Maybe we should build a team, just like we do with people. That's where AI agents come in. They're not a new idea, they've been around for a while. Virtual assistants, chatbots, automated trading bots. All kinds of AI agents are already out there doing their thing. At the simplest level, an AI agent is an AI with a specific job to do. It acts independently, focuses on one task, and has its own objective and tools. But here's the catch. One agent can't do the job of an entire role but it can do one responsibility really well. So instead of one AI developer, we might build a team of specialists, an API endpoint builder, coding standards optimizer, UI tester, code reviewer, backend specialist, frontend specialist, really any responsibility could have a dedicated agent. 
and tools for this do already exist. NAN.io offers an out-of-the-box workflow automation platform. Make.com offers a similar automation platform with a focus on low or no code. And Gumloop.com offer yet another automation platform with no coding required. There are also plenty of projects on GitHub to experiment with. I'll include links for everything I've shown in the description. So, this is the start of an experiment. We'll explore how far we can go by building an AI-powered software team, one role and one responsibility at a time. I'm starting with tasks that I'll perform myself, with some AI assistance of course, but with the goal being my team of AI agents will eventually be able to pick up the slack as the project progresses, and like any good team, they're not going to get it right the first time. This is an agile approach. Start small, learn and adapt, improve as we go. We're not automating anything today, we're laying the foundation. So now we've got the idea. We've seen why AI struggles on its own, why real teams work, and how AI agents might help bridge that gap. But how might this work in practice? We could start with a list of tasks, a backlog of items to be completed. This list would be created from an idea. Each element broken up into bite-sized chunks may be user stories that can be picked up and worked on individually. The tasks are assigned to our developer agents who use Git management just like a real team. Tests are created to confirm the software works as expected and once the agents have confidence the story is completed, they open a pull request which can be manually reviewed and confirmed by a human. If the request is denied, the agents take on board the QA feedback and try again. And if the request is approved, they move on to the next story. Making changes should be as simple as adding a new item to the to-do list. This isn't a tutorial, it's an exploration. I'm going to be using AI to help build this from the start, even if I am writing the prompts and interacting with it myself. Instead of using an automation platform, we're going to see how far we can get in Python, starting from the ground up. One thing to consider is that some of the tools that I will be using like OpenAI's API and Cursor are not free, so please do bear that in mind if you fancy having a go yourself. All the code will be made available in a companion Git repository, the link is in the description. Let's see what's possible. So what role should we start with? Drop a comment, pitch your favourite agent idea or just say hi. I read all of it. And if you've made it this far, thank you. This series isn't a tutorial, it's an experiment and you're part of it. Subscribe if you want to see where it goes because we're just getting started.